In a world with so many endless possibilities, and as we enter into a new golden age of the MMORPG, I decided to explore this idea both as a thought exercise, but also as a hopefully entertaining video for you to enjoy. Now, I fully understand the absurdity of this question, but like the Mad Titan himself, I wanted to explore the impact that this would have on gamers, on streamers, and on Activision itself if all of a sudden everyone just one day quit World of Warcraft. Now, let me be very clear. This video is for entertainment purposes, but it doesn't mean I don't want to know what your thoughts are on the subject. In this video, we're going to take a hard look at the impact of this question and what we're going to start off with is content creators and streamers. Then we're going to talk about gamers and what the MMO landscape would look like. And finally, what would life be like at Activision? So, what would the world look like if everyone quit WoW? Content creation is such an interesting piece of this new puzzle. For one thing, we now have whole industries wrapped up in playing, covering, and entertaining on or around an MMO. This goes beyond MMOs though, but this economy, like all systems in life, are resilient and resistant to change. Just consider how much someone can be angry in Activision, for example, but yet still play and cover their games, promote their games, be locked into the self-sustaining ecosystem where their lives fully depend on it. There are some who transcend this law, but for the rest of content creators, they are governed by it. So how would this all play out? So let's set the scene, shall we? One morning, everyone wakes up, they get their coffee. They either at some point check the internet, Reddit, Twitter, and they start to see the trend. Wow, is over party is trending. Is this irony? What did Activision do now? Videos start to pop up all over the place. Why I quit WoW, done with WoW, the day that WoW died. Content would keep this game alive even if no one was playing it or streaming it. Reaction followed by reaction, followed by interviews, articles, discussions, and so much more in all millions, if not hundreds of millions of views would be generated. The general gaming population would be vastly interested, not only WoW players, but every other MMO player out there would want to know what the hell just happened. Now over on Twitch, as a part of the directory, WoW would still have viewers, but they'd either be ironic viewers trying to pick up on anyone used to watching World of Warcraft or listening to WoW content during the day, or they would be predominantly WoW content creators and streamers talking about how they're leaving the game, answering any questions, Q&A with their communities. Now, whether or not they would actually return to the game in the future would be a topic that not only they would know at this time. Now, granted, no one is actually playing the game. They're just in the category. Over on Reddit, over on Twitter, more and more conversations will be wrapped up around the game itself. And even the most diehard WoW fan out there would not be currently subscribed to the game. Yet, still beyond the game itself, lies the content and the content creator. This would extend to Reddit, in which you'd see threads and threads theorizing over the fall of this game. What were the top five things that led to this? And this cycle would continue for days and then they'd turn into weeks. And eventually everything would start to slow down. During the slowdown of content, people would make videos moving to Final Fantasy XIV or New World or checking out Guild Wars 2 or excited for Lost Ark. These would all start popping up as content creators would go and start to explore new options of both existing games in their communities while also looking to the horizon for future games. YouTube channels like Game Theory would actually start to dive into why this happened and perhaps a reference to the Mad Titan himself would actually start popping up by playing a role. And as some content creators would take it upon themselves to save WoW by setting up private server communities, and since WoW already had this in place, and that's actually why Classic was something that was born out of that, I don't think it would actually take much time before the sub-WoW community grew. This would take players who really wanted to play the game or experience it in some way without supporting its parent company. In the end, some WoW content creators and the economy would obviously change, 
They'd go off and play other games and become part of other communities. Some would stop outright altogether, and others would be absorbed into their private server community. Years from now, they'd all get together for a stream or an edited video called Remembering WoW. On the day that everyone quit WoW, gamers would be the most fun to watch. Sure, content creators would be the one on camera and making things to watch and to listen to, but it's the gamers who would provide the most interesting takes imaginable. Gamers is obviously a broad topic. Due to the nature of the game, you'd have gamers from other communities fearful that their game would all of a sudden become like WoW and what happened to WoW could then happen to their game. Fearful of obviously the, the culture change. Uh, there would obviously be gamers who would welcome those players and essentially you would see things like the final wave of brow refugees has begun. Beyond the special of how they'd react online, deep down there would be this feeling of something monumental has occurred. They'd all know that they quit well on a personal level, but would all be obsessed with why this happened on a global level. Discord groups would all be lit up with questions about where to go, what to play, what class, job, role, type of game are we looking for, and these looking for group posts would start popping up and whole communities would start to shift. Not much would really be done on that day, but eventually this would become a topic among friends. Where were you on the day that WoW died? Unironically, some would you know, fly a red shirt flag from a building and the internet would pick it up and turn it into a thing. Gamers would move on to obviously other MMOs or other games altogether. They'd join other communities or attempt to move on on their own, but they'd find new games and perhaps a part of them would always worry that no matter what game or community that they're a part of, it could go away instantly because they've seen the impossible happen. And with that, it would never be the same again. For the entirety of this video, I've referenced them as Activision rather than Blizzard, because that's who they are. As for the day that everyone quit WoW, who I wish we had a camera on and into would be the building on that day. I can imagine it would start like any normal day. Maybe Bobby would wake up and have a few missed text messages and voicemails. He wouldn't check them right away. As he made his way into the office, the news would be broken to him. Emergency meetings would be called, team meetings verifying the data is correct. Obviously, this would all get sent out, and then the real work would begin. They would obviously need to release some kind of statement, but they wouldn't want to do something so soon, something along the lines that we're investigating, and we'll update everyone further at a later date. Board members would have to be called in, heads of departments would have to meet with their teams, and they'd all have to answer to the hard questions about how this could happen, why did this happen, where are those dadgum infinity stones? More Mad Titan jokes for you guys. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy. What I don't know, what I'd love to understand, is what would happen with the stock. Obviously, I think the clear, simple answer is that the stock would, would fall. Investors would really want to get out because WoW obviously represents a massive amount of revenue for the company, especially over the years. Many, many articles have been written. Whole business models from other games have been built off of the how WoW had designed the subscription model for the game. However, what I don't know and what I would be curious about is with a falling stock price, that all of a sudden becomes into an easier acquisitionable territory. I don't know how much they would spend in their meetings as they were worrying to try to preserve their stock price. At some point, it gets so low, anybody could easily come in, sweep them up, buy out all their IP, basically, break them up, sell that, and make tons more money in a massive, massive fall off in that stock price. Now, I like I would love to know like we, <laughs> what that would look like. Who would the buyers be? Obviously, I think a clear, easy, simple option would be Microsoft. They'd be chomping at the bit to be able to purchase them, especially their IP, whether they decided to preserve the company. They've got a lot of former Microsoft colleagues over there now, so it almost seems like a natural fit for them to be able to try and acquire Activision. All of this would be going on. Like all of this behind the scenes, you'd have people working on what's the value of the company, 
what you know can we recover is there a wow too and that's why i would love to know like that's ultimately what i'd love to see but there's a sad part of this story and that is that the reality of the world is thus for all that chaos that day and all the days that would follow the only people who would really be hurt and suffer are the hardworking people who actually built the game and the fans who love the game and activision People would be fired for whatever reason. Board would obviously decide the fate of the CEO. And if they decide to stick with him for that moment or plans of succession would be drawn up or plans of acquisition would easily be kind of put into place uh, and other ways for them to try and, you know, save money, protect money, make money. The WoW team would now be a source of cost rather than revenue. And so you would see that team eventually shift into other projects or most of them would go find other jobs. The heads of these companies, if they did leave, would leave to pursue other dreams and opportunities with payouts and bonuses, because even in our mythical what if question, the world still functions like it always does. In the end, there would actually be a new beginning, new perspectives, maybe some new lessons learned by the industry and everyone. This would be a moment to be studied, to be understood, even if that was a possibility. Now, that is essentially what my thoughts are here. And I do want to thank you all for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, I'd love and you'd love to see me make more what if videos. Sound off with in the comments like what you'd like to see me tackle next. If you guys like and you feel like this video earned it, be sure to smash that like button and also sub for more videos. And let me know if you do. So that way I can thank you obviously in the comments. But that's going to wrap it up for me for Ginger Prime. My name has been Brian and this has been what would the world look like if everyone quit the World of Warcraft? Until next time, everyone, take care. Friendly fun and optimistic community, baby. Coming from an MMO community filled with toxicity, this is an amazing breath of fresh air. <laughs> Keep it up, baby. Oh, yeah. I just want to say I'm really glad you're feeling...